so saying thank you. May I now request Shri Habi Mahabad Chaudhary to kindly address us. Good afternoon. Honorable Indian Minister Pawan Singh Gatwar, His Excellency Padukh Hassan Haji Siddiq Sadiq Ali, His Excellency Lim Thun Khun, His Excellency Sisabad Sabasuk Sah, his Excellency Tichantha, Mr. Rajib Singh, Mr. M. Singh, and Mr. M. K. Sarya. Thank you very much for I get this opportunity to speak here today. I want to say, share with you some which one I get the experience and I seen in the Lao border trade or difficulty or the business. Of course, we are here, we join, we make one event. Tomorrow I go my way, everyone go their way. We send one email and say thank you very much. We get the good uh, event, everyone say very nice. And thank you very much for that. Then we have come our own issue and are busy with our own different issue. Then slowly, slowly we forgot what we talk today here at this farm. I'm sorry to say, today we are, I'm in the, in October, CLB meeting in uh, Delhi. They call Cambodia, Lao, Myanmar, and Vietnam in route connectivity. So I come with the delegation, Lao delegation, with the planning, Vice Minister of Planning Investment, Dr. Vuntuvi, and our delegation, about 10 people. I listen, route connectivity, bridge, everything. But in our talk, how we develop trade and business. Of course, we can make in the road, we can make bridge, we can make good relation with the people. At a time we want to need how to export, how to import, how to evaluate the things, a lot of things issue over there. Uh, this is, I'm talking in the, my little experience. So, in Laos, they have the free trade tariff, they our government they sign the tariff. The zero tariff, some, some product, some product is not be zero. So if the come down in the zero in 20 years, when Chinese government, they come in delegation within the Lao PDR, they come along with the, their finance, their team, and they negotiate with the Lao government and say, we're going to investment in your country, we're going to bring our things, example, motorbike, car, anything. Can you agree on this much of duty? We pay maybe 15%, 10%. Sometimes the two government, they agree and they sign. Today we import in Laos, uh, Mohenro car, we import in the TVS, we in, in, import in Bajaj, but duty is the 40%, sir. So Chinese, they bring in the 10%, Indian bring the 40%. How can we compare in the market? So we need our government to follow the things. So that's why I'm talking. The things here, I see in the Lao border, they have the border pass. No, they don't issue the, in the uh, passport, Excellency. They use the pass, they have the car one paper, they give and they have the one pass. And they bring in the, in the uh, in border, immigration, they make one stamp and they can go some area, some province, and the car also can go, no need passport, no need nothing. So maybe we can apply like this thing in the Burma. I think it's a lot of hassle. People, uh, my uh, former the speaker, they say people have to go in the Delhi for visa. If you find like this thing, it help us in the border trade. E-visa, electronic card, even they use the card, you can put in the card in the electronic, you can cross the border also. The a lot of issues that there when you make the border trade. I want to add one more thing. We can use, today we are looking someone come and help us. No, we have to help ourselves. We are very talented. We have this ability, we can find the product, we can use value the things, we can create our own things. Example, the forest wastage. My one friend in, the, in Calcutta, he take out from forest wastage some seeds, some leaves, some thing, and he export every year 300 crore. 
he, every year. So even we thinking many things, even wastage, we can collect from in the forest. So, so that's why I'm just suggest they our people they can. We are very creative people. Maybe they our donor uh, the department. They can send some uh, person. They can go and visit Vietnam. They can go visit in Cambodia. They can visit and they find they see the in the uh, some uh, handicraft with the value and they can come here and do something also. This is also more effective for them because there are a lot of, uh, I mean, uh, creative people in the Vietnam, Thailand, Laos, everywhere, Burma, everywhere. For your information, I tell you a very sad one story I tell you. Today, I'm in the Laos. Laos government gave me 10,000 hectare, 1,000 mean uh, in the, uh, uh, 1,000 mean 10,000 square meter. 10,000 hectare, we make the plantation, agro plantation, 400,000 tree, 4 lakh tree, we make the plant. This agar wood, Malaysia, they give the permission to do. Brunei, they give the, yeah, Brunei Embassy, Excellency is here. Brunei Embassy, the, uh, Brunei County, uh, then Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, let them, they do. Today, the lot of farmer in the, our area, in the Northeast, they have their own agar tree. Each tree minimum is $300 value. But today they don't have permission to their own, they make plan. They don't have permission to they cut and they uh, export. For your information today, the whole world, less supply and more agarwood. Today, Northeast, from Northeast agarwood is smuggling more than Excellency, more than 60% wall, the agarwood go from in the Northeast Excellency. Today, the whole world survives with the agarwood from Northeast 60%. Every year, I guarantee I can export from in the Northeast 50 million dollar, 300 to 400 crore, Excellency. This is our product. We can export officially. We can get the revenue, Excellency. And this is make the help with the, the state government also. They Singapore only a year they export in Agarwood two billion dollar. Two, they import from uh, Southeast Asia, they import from in the, our uh, Northeast also, but illegal. The agarwood is the undangered species you can export with the CITES. But everywhere they get the facilities. Even the Lao government, last year they asked, we have to put one agarwood stall, they have the in ASEAN uh, agriculture submit in Delhi. They, our my Excellency in Forest Minister, they came to my office and said, Habib, the Lao government this year, because we make one stall in, the, in, in uh, Laos, one exhibition, the uh, Indonesian minister, foreign minister, they go Malaysian, then uh, Brunei, they highly appreciate. Oh, this is very nice, nice. Then they, our government, Lao government, they decide, this year you have to put in Delhi Agarut stall. And behalf of Lao government, and the Gao, Lao product we put in the agar in the Delhi, His Excellency Sharad Pawar the initiated the event. L there, like this, lot of thing we can add to value is here. We have to not only talking, we have to come the action. And I think every our people they have own social responsibility for their state. I'm come first 2009. I bring in the delegation from Laos because I think my brother sister here. I have to show them in Laos, Laos people I bring here. So if you everyone think our own social responsibility, we can come out, even we can help each people for every kind of product, every kind of thing, we are already succeed. I don't want to take too much time because I have a lot of speakers here. Thank you very much. Maybe I take the uh, line out from this. Maybe this is not right form, but this is my heart say and I share with you. Thank you very much for everyone. Thank you. Mr. Chaudhary, thank you. Thank you for a very, very passionate and uh, a business-like speech. I think you spoke about uh, the ground issues and uh, also some of the tariff, non-tariff barriers which which exist. And uh, I think people like you can motivate the youngsters in Northeast to really take up uh, such smaller business ideas and. Uh, really try to excel.